Hi, this is Ben Finio from Science Buddies, and this video tutorial will show you how to design, simulate, and race your own soft robots using the simulation software VoxCAD. To get started, you're going to need to download the latest version of VoxCAD from their website, www.voxcad.com. When you first start VoxCAD, you're going to see a blank window where you can use the mouse wheel to scroll and zoom in and out. You can click and hold the mouse wheel and move your mouse to rotate the view and you can click and hold the control button and the mouse wheel or middle mouse button and move the mouse to pan your view. The first thing you'll need to do to get started is import the template file that we've provided with the directions for the project. You can do this by going to File, Import, Simulation, and then open the template file that you can download from the written directions for the project on the Science Buddies website. Once you open this file, you'll see that the main window still remains empty and nothing appears to have changed. However, if you go down to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and click on the palette tab, this will bring up a materials list and you will see that there are four predefined materials in this project, two active and two passive. We'll explain a little more about what exactly this means later on. In order to start actually creating your robots, you'll need to enter edit voxel mode, which you can access by clicking on the edit voxels button towards the top of the screen. This brings up a two-dimensional drawing mode that's very similar to programs like Microsoft Paint. You'll see that we now have a two-dimensional view of the drawing world with a three-dimensional preview window. And over in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, we have four drawing tools. There's a pencil tool, a rectangle tool, a circle tool, and a bucket fill option. And you'll see that by selecting different materials, just like you would select different colors in paint, I can draw different shapes on the screen and fill them in using the various options. So here you'll see different examples using the pencil, rectangle, and bucket fill tools. Here you'll notice in the 3D preview window that all of these shapes are appearing in the same slice of the three-dimensional model. And of course, you're probably going to want to create three-dimensional robots. In order to do that, you're going to have to add voxels in different planes of your model. You can do that by going up to the top of the screen and clicking on the layer forward and layer back buttons. What those do is move the current drawing plane through the three-dimensional models. You can see that as I click on those, this translucent gray slice in the 3D preview window moves up and down and shows me the plane that I'm currently drawing in. Next, I'm going to use the erase function to erase what I've drawn so far in this plane. So you can use the erase color or material with any of the four drawing tools pencil, circle, rectangular, bucket, and then I'm going to use the rectangle tool to come in and just draw a square of each material and then use the layer back button to move up one level, draw another square of each material, thus having a complete cube of each of the four materials as you can see in the 3D preview window. Now if you'd like to draw on a different plane or viewing your three-dimensional model from a different angle, you can do that by going up to the top toolbar and clicking on the different view buttons that will allow you to view the model from a different direction and then you can also use the layer forward and back buttons to scroll through this model just like you could before and then you can draw in a different plane so here you see I'm drawing shapes in a vertical plane but I'm just going to erase those and go back to the four cubes that I had originally so when I click on edit voxels mode again you can see that I've exited out of that edit mode and I'm just looking at the 3D preview window where I can see the four cubes that I just drew so now we'd like to see how this simulation is actually going to behave in simulation mode. So to access that, you're going to come up to the top of the screen and click on the Physics Sandbox button. And that will bring you into the Physics Sandbox environment where you can see immediately these red and green cubes start expanding and contracting. If we want to pause that simulation, you can come over on the right and click the Pause button. And then there's a Reset button and a Pause button changes to the Start button to allow you to restart the simulation. So you can always use those to start, stop, and reset the simulation at any time. And you can see that I can also control the view to rotate and zoom in and out just like I could in the preview mode. So you've probably noticed over on the right there are a bunch of different settings. We're going to ask you not to worry about all those for now, but just zoom in and click on the Environment tab. And in that tab you're going to see two different checkboxes for temperature. One to enable temperature and one to vary temperature. What those do is allow you to control the expansion and contraction of the red and green materials which are set to expand and contract as the temperature changes. So you can see if I disable the enable temperature checkbox and start the simulation, nothing happens. If I re-enable that checkbox, 
and then move this slider back and forth, that causes the red and green materials to expand and contract. If I then recheck the vary temperature checkbox, these materials will expand and contract automatically. So using these automatically expanding and contracting materials in conjunction with the passive blue materials is what allows you to actually design a moving soft robot. So rather than spoiling all the fun and walking you through the entire process of building a robot from scratch, we're going to import a simulation file where we have already made three different robots. And we're going to do that by, again, going up here on the left to File, Import, Simulation, and pulling up our file where you can see we have a slightly larger workspace. You can change that by adjusting the settings in the Workspace tab. And we have three different robots here. Over on the left, we have a hexapod robot. In the middle, we have a cube. And over on the right, we have kind of a snake or inchworm robot. And you'll see that what happens when we go into physics simulation mode is the same thing that happened before. The red and green cubes will start expanding and contracting, but they've been situated in such a way that it causes all three robots to start moving forward. And you can tell after a moment which one is the fastest as the hexapod clearly starts to pull away from the other two. So your goal in this project is going to be to design your own squishy robot there are infinitely many different designs you can come up with, so we hope you'll have fun and be creative with it. And if you have fun with this first project, we have a couple advanced projects that are going to explain more about all these different settings on the right and what you can do with adjusting the settings in the physics simulation and the material properties. You can find the full written directions for the project along with the template file you'll need in the link to the Science Buddies homepage in the description to this video. We'd also like to send a special thank you to Jonathan Hiller and the Cornell University Creative Machines Lab for developing the VoxCAD software.